Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Chrissy Sawyer here. Welcome, new subs. Great to see you here. <sighs> oh, good lord, people. So after that last reading, during which we had this, and I didn't pick up on it. And then yesterday, Wednesday the 15th, I just had a mind-blowing download and it took me all over the place and then I caught myself and I was shown the first two cards which were patience and standstill <laughs> and then I just saw myself this overexcited five-year-old <laughs> so I put all of my toys away and I went to music and dance um, yesterday was too much it was a massive massive download um which led to tons of numerology, which kept, which kept reducing to the same message, which I'm going to share with you. Um, so I did the numerology for Sirius, um, which gave me a uh, higher mind and rise in consciousness. This is the fusing of the blueprint. So the higher mind is bringing in the blueprint, which is fusing in that two energy. Um, and and also it was either Tuesday or Wednesday we had an uh, X class 8.7 solar flare which was massive now they say it only glanced the earth but it wiped me out um and in that was this expansion, like my energy field is so expanded. Um, and that led into the natural world and the expansion of everything from a mayfly to a giraffe, from clover to a 500 year old tree, everything is expanding the energy field. So you might feel like you've literally got bigger lungs Oh, you're claiming more space. A um, lot of space, time, energy, right space, right time. A lot of synchronicities happening. A lot of alignments happening. And this is so. This is where the fractal comes in. So it's aligning with uh, other dimensions under the same universal law, the same building principle. So building in line with soul. It's stunning. Um, it's stunning. And I, I blew my own mind. Um, so Sirius showed me the Star of David. So I did the numerology for the Star of David. And that led to make a wish. Um, so that basically brought in star energy and blueprint energy, the expansion of that eight coming in. Make a wish and be careful what you wish for. And again, this is remembering the, this is much bigger than me. So it's a bigger, bigger vision. Um, coming in. Uh, yeah. That's, there's, yeah, there's the, be careful what you wish for. The bigger vision coming in, and if you don't see it yet, don't try and make something that isn't there. So there's a checkpoint, Charlie, here between soul and ego. And again, in that standstill and patience energy, the ego might kick in because uh, it's been busy all its life. And so it's that, it's that fusion point. There's that two energy. What does my soul want? Okay, so star blueprint making a wish. And uh, wish, wish is coming in. Wish is coming in. So then I did the numerology on make a wish. And I got tower, judgment, heed the call, duality, polarity, balance, fire, and Pluto. Big completion energy. Big completion energy. And I think that came through in the last one. 
So make a wish is basically a 369. And then I did the numerology on sun and sun is a 369. So there's the big completion on many levels. Okay, so that's the catch up. So we're still with this. So I'm holding that energy. And so I go to the horse wisdom cards. <laughs> I can't make this up. The first card out, pause, just pause, be still. Winter's heart and pausing on the journey. So this is giving me gestation, energy and pausing and waiting for the seed to break. Um, the seed that has its own intelligence. So this is the surrender to a higher intelligence rather than forcing it. Yeah, peony. I went back to my peony story and I learned a new thing, which is peony is one of those flowers you cannot force to bloom. <laughs> she like stands in her own beauty and she says, you'll get me when you get me. <laughs> you can't force her to bloom out of season. So wait, again, this pause coming in. Sacred circles, where did I see that? Yeah. There's something in that. There's something in that. So respect the original people. And this is just personal, but when I tune into cards like this, I go beyond of original because we, we tie original people, ancestors, to earth. And there's a question in there for me. Um, Yeah, I was given the question the other day, where were you born? And it sent my mind off, actually. It sent my mind off in lots of different directions all at once. And that question is just hanging. Where were you born? If Earth is your first answer, or Essex, or Scotland, <laughs> or the States, or whatever, tune into that. And just see where it takes follow without pushing and just follow and see where it takes you. Because we're in a time of, uh, this is the, the rising up from, let's say, Neptunian waters, the emergence of a different kind of learning, uh, experience, history, Assuming history is in the past, sorry, don't mean to confuddle you. And what that's whispering to actually might be as simple as new guides coming online. And new ways of communicating. In the 3D, that might be new people coming in who are unusual. and finding common gifts in those new relationships where you can meet and be fully met in new ways. Um, but I do get guide with this kind of guide coming out of the dark. So you've got to go into the void, into the unknown to build trust. Inspiration takes flight. So let me be a lesson to you that I went way down the rabbit hole in like five minutes yesterday. It was a total explosion. I probably could have controlled it better. <laughs> or at least grabbed a cup of tea before it started. Um, 
So it's going to come in fast. Let me just, I've been preparing this morning notes for the Sag full moon. And yeah, the sun, that Sag full moon that's coming in on the 23rd is going to conjunct Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, uh, Uranus loosely, but Sun and Uranus, uh, and I think there's been a Sun Uranus Kazemi in the last few days, and it might have been what I got hit with yesterday or the day before. I can't remember which day it was. Um, when Sun and Uranus comes together, that can be explosive, massive, massive downloads coming in really, really quick. It's okay to go into overwhelm, put your toys away, walk away. It'll come back. You're holding it, and also to leave days afterwards for the settling and the percolation. That's it. I think I got my message through. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And so we're going to keep it quite level and earthy. We'll go to Sacred Rebels. It won't be a long one today. I am going to do a separate reading for the Sag Full Moon. Yeah, that would be good. One of my notes is to invite you to ponder what did you begin about six months ago on the last new moon in Sag and that happened December the 12th 2023 go back through your journals skim your journals for the last three yeah this <laughs> yesterday took me into my old journals and I'm reading these old journals going oh, I don't even remember writing this this is mind-blowing so nothing is wasted and I wrote these notes two years ago so nothing is wasted Thank you. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> New inspiration. Coming in like creative three. And three seeks the structure. New inspiration. I don't know how many more messages of slow down we can get. Um, pause, slow down, patience, stand still. And then we have yeah, it if you are getting flashes of insight, they may not make sense. They probably won't make sense with Uranus so active, um, activated by the sun. And Uranus is the genius in you. If we, if we bring it to those simple terms, Uranus is the genius in you. It's already in you and it's birthing. And you might need to get lost. It lost in the normal familiarity of your world. Yeah, a new set of roadmaps, a new sat nav. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Throat activating. I get harmony here. Oh, of course, it's coming in on that six and the six seeks balance. Harmony. Oh, gorgeous. This is like the etheric code. I can see it's like the 
the flow of life that's behind the fabric of this. And it's pulsing. It wants to be seen. And that might have been the messages recently about look through rather than look at, look through. Yeah, 30 is that. That blueprint energy coming straight through the void. It's like if you ever stare at something and then you see images in the peripheral vision, really notice that. Because in the expansion, everything gets expanded. The sensory perception gets expanded. So your taste buds might change. <laughs> Hearing. I woke up this morning and I was underwater. I couldn't hear properly. Um, so everything changes. There's nothing that energy doesn't affect. Hmm. There's so much nature, bees and butterflies, birds and horses, seashells. And there's almost this message of we want to be heard, or we're ready to be heard, or we can express. I think this is the shift in the, just for me, this is the shift in my relationship with plants. They te they're teaching me louder than ever before. They're teaching me what they need. So a greater invitation to listen. And some beautiful stories coming through um, in your comments. Really beautiful stories coming through. Thank you ever so much for sharing because we weave together the tapestry. You know, every time we speak to one another, even if even though it's only through YouTube, YouTube is such a great host uh, to bring people together, to weave new stories together because everything is an energetic blueprint. When we speak together, we create blueprints and they're fun and joyful and loving and honest and accountable and grown up. So thank you. Um, yeah. And here we have. This is like, uh, so I've got Jupiter and Pluto coming in together. This is like an expansion of transformative truth. It's an expansion of the dark hidden truth that has been demonized because it might be a bit rude or blunt or in, all of that stuff. I'll read you the underlying story. Yeah, this is... It's a big story. Yeah. It's a very big story. Let's whiz through it. Yeah, that's cool. So this is uh, on your terms. This is on your terms. Um, yeah, that's it, on your terms without pleasing or complying or obligating yourself, or burdening yourself. And that on your terms is going to cause this, look at these bees coming in, so many bees. So getting into that naked truth, 
can't happen if there isn't vulnerability in that. You know, when we birth something new, this it's natural human programming to feel maybe a wobble, anxiety, a bit of fear. We might bring the past to the present and color it dark. Um, align the whole choice. So if the choice is to step forward, and this might be a tweak in a sentence, or it might be dressing the way you've always wanted to dress, or it might be inviting your guide to speak straight through you with no filter. Depends which level, where you are on your journey. This kind of nakedness has to be wholehearted. And so if you step a step away from the well-trodden path, bring all of the heart and mind to it, bring all of the instinct and the intuition to it. And there's definitely going to be some changes. It's already happening. I'm seeing it happen. Changes in long-standing relationships. As people move in different directions, you know, that wheel with the six directions, as people start moving off in different directions, you may feel that if there's an entanglement, you may feel that pull. And remember, love disguises itself in many, many ways. You could do anything with love. Anything. Be at cause. There's that message again. 26.8 is karma. And be at cause is saying every thought and action and deed is causing. What is it causing? It's that level of architect responsibility what am i building am i thinking in fear am i beaming that out what am i building but christy we can't just drop our fear no you can get to work on it though and i know many of you are many 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 certainly most people here So what I'm seeing is this being standing in a group of people, a group she stood with for a long time, and she's listening to it all and witnessing it all. And she's thinking to herself, this is not me. I, I don't vibe with this anymore. This doesn't feel like home or it doesn't feel true. 22 wants to build this is the the master builder or the self mastery of that sensitive <laughs> emotional body that sensitive too that wants to fuse that wants to lean one way or the other to make a choice and create the blueprint So does she act on that knowing is the question. Does she act on that knowing? Because when she acts on that knowing, she aligns to it and physics will do the rest. Physics will then alter the group. And what follows is like this natural dissolving of a collective... Uh, energy which is remapping itself and so it needs to morph and change shape some will fall away some will stay but shift as new grids get built okay look at all this b energy a hexagram Six, 14, 19, 10, 1. 
That's interesting. So I've just done the numerology for hex. Hex from hexagram. And it's the 1910 one, which is the star of Sirius. <laughs> so it's like wherever I go, oh, is that what that means? Where is that? In this current story, it's like wherever I go, it resolves to the same. It keeps coming back to the same. Okay. Where were you born? What is at the heart of your cosmos, inner? What is right at the heart of your cosmos? If you go beyond the mind, where does that take you? <laughs> when you get the mind out of the way, what is seeking you will find you. It's physics. Aligned vibration, frequency, physics. And this might be new guides coming through. Collaborative. It might be collaborators coming in in the 3D, but we're in such a, such a time of rebirth and expansion. We're bringing so much in to weave into this reality, to shift it, that's what's happening. It's not a case of going up and out. It's a case of integration. Integrating all the shadow, integrating the light to create a new harmonic within, an alignment, if you like. Fusing the mystic seven. What's, what's hidden? Fusing what's hidden, fusing the metaphysical to the physical, I guess. Fusing what's hidden to what's seen. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pull a couple more from this deck and then maybe a cheeky abundance card and we'll call it a day. Yeah, fusing together a new chariot. Transcendence, ascension, rising up, changing frequency. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. That's the alignment. That's like the... Yes, it's grounding the energy into Earth, but this is Earth's upliftment too, to create that beautiful alignment. That's stunning. Isis energy. Did I read somewhere that Isis is connected to Sirius as well? Um, 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 um. Do you know what? Bear with me. Mm.
Wings of Isis. This is about a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds. Birthing angelic consciousness. Fearlessness, compassion, service into the human culture. Assistance, intervention and confirmation. And if this takes you to Egypt, go beyond, go beyond. Yeah, beautiful. Stay true and be in your power. This speaks about sovereign divinity, spiritual authority and freedom within. You don't need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose. So divine birthright to be guarded as precious treasure. Liberation energy. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, goodness sake. Okay. So we have three Merkabas. Um, <laughs> right. People, look, it's party time. My goodness. is Wow. Look at that. <laughs> party time chariot of ascension Merkaba. a spiritual practice has come or is soon coming to your attention that will help your soul journey take your time to develop and practice patience and stand still uh, practice chosen spiritual discipline regularly this will help you grow in power and grace anchoring spiritual light within the body of your soul there's this resolving energy. I can feel it. It goes up and then it collapses back to the same point. It's like such an alignment. With, it's alignment to the central sun. Oh, I can feel that. That's higher heart. It's alignment. It's expanding and collapsing. This is the, the field of coalescence, expanding and collapsing. I can actually feel that in the body. That is amazing. <laughs> Divine solar child. That's it. That's it. Right. We're going to go cheeky abundance. And then I'm going to love you and leave you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wake me from being a spiritual sheep. So this is about listening to the inner voice. Expand, expand, expand. Play with new toys. Breathe in six directions all at once. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, guys, thank you for being here and just holding the container for this to come in. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, do the clicky things. Um, definitely leave a comment. I uh, wish you a beautiful weekend, and I'll be back with you again next week. Much love. Bye-bye.